Brian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Keystone Bullet Crossfire 2070BH. This is a nice little bunk model. You don't have any slides here, so that way, you know, as you're going down the road, obviously, if you need to take a pit stop, you have easy access to the refrigerator as well, to the bathroom. And I like the layout here as well because they give you a campsite dinette. You have the two bunks and a Murphy bed up front, which gives you a sofa in what is considered a somewhat smaller floor plan. Let's start right over here though. So as I mentioned, you get the campsite dinette and this is one of my favorite things when manufacturers are able to do this because this is the view I want when I'm eating breakfast in the morning or having my morning coffee is right out here to my campsite, not looking out at my neighbors. You also have a big table and although the table, you know, this leg system that they use here doesn't look quite as nice as when you have the pedestal legs. However, it is a lot more sturdy. You can see the table hardly rocks or sometimes the pedestal legs tend to rock quite a bit. So. Uh, even though, again, it's not quite as aesthetically pleasing, I do like the functionality. It also drops down into a bed, so if you need additional sleeping space, you can certainly accommodate that. You have the leatherette here on the seat as well, so if the kids are messy eaters, it's nice and simple to clean up. Right up top here, you do have a little bit of storage on both sides. You have your multimedia center right here in the, right here in the middle. That unit is Bluetooth capable. You can see you have the speaker control right above, inside, outside, or both speakers at the same time. TV connections right there in the center. And then as I mentioned over here, a little bit of storage as well. Moving back a little further, you get into the refrigerator. So we'll open this up for you, Dometic fridge freezer combo. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Then in the very back here is the bathroom. We'll take a step in here. Foot flush lever toilet. I'll take a seat, kind of show you, you know, kind of give you an idea of space. I have good leg room here, thanks to the cutout in the countertop, and it's far enough away from the wall. Even though I'm pretty wide in the shoulders, I have plenty of space there as well. So they did put a shelf in here, so you know, if you want easy to reach materials like reading materials, something like that. There's also enough room for a trash can. If you want to try to sneak a, you know, a trash can in here, you can probably fit a small one. Maybe, maybe sneak one in here. It'll be a little tough just because of the distance here. Uh, but you have a good size countertop coming along the side, so if you want to set down hair dryer, curling iron, something like that, obviously an electrical outlet. Underneath, a little bit of storage there too. You can probably put a small trash can in there, they're easier than you can fit one in there. You have a P-trap there. Uh, if you need to get to the P-trap, you have access to that as well as your water lines. Right up top here is a mirrored medicine cabinet, and over to the side is the tub shower. The tub is great because if you have small kids, you can still give them a bath. Now as far as height in here, I'll stand up here to show you. So I'm six foot. As you can see, you know, if I don't stand underneath the skylight, I'm hitting the ceiling here. Underneath this vent, I have a little bit of space. But folks, if you're, you know, six one or taller, unfortunately, you're going to have to bend over a little. If you're shorter than that, the shower will work just fine. You see the hand wand right here and then shelves along the back. So we take a step out of the bathroom right here on the wall. You have your thermostat. This is for the heat only. There is a roof mounted AC unit, but the controls for that are on the AC itself. You'll see the tank monitoring panel here as well. Do note that your water heater runs off both LP and electric. You can turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. Right here along the, uh, the wall are your two 300 pound bunks. They are single bunks. As far as length, I'll hop in here for you just to give you an idea. So as I mentioned, I am six foot. If I lay down here, I can lay down. However, it's because they are single, they're not very wide. So you may feel a little bit closed in as, as an adult. For a kid, they probably won't mind whatsoever. It'll be just fine. But you do have uh, lights in there as well as the window on both the top and the bottom. That bottom one is also an emergency exit. Taking a step forward kind of into the kitchen space here, you get this versatile storage area. So... Because the way this is set up, chances are you'll probably have to use this for the kids' clothes. Um, you get, have the hanging rod up top. These shelves are removable. If you want to leave the shelves in there and just fold all the clothes, you can do that as well. If, you know, you don't have the kiddos and you want to use this as pantry, by all means, you can do that too. Microwave up top there, hood right underneath that. You'll also see storage up top, window right underneath, LED lights as you would expect here. You also have an electrical outlet, so... That way you want to set a coffee maker here, you have a spot in which you can plug that in. They give you a recessed two burner cooktop with the glass cover, just flip that up and back. This acts as a backsplash and gives you access to the two burners. Double bowl sink right next to that. And if we drop down here, you see you have storage all around including these two drawers. 
To make any uh, kitchen functional, you have to have at least one drawer. That we have a spot for your flatware. Two are preferred, so you have a spot for your knives, serving spoons, things like that. And then you'll see storage underneath the cooktop as well, which gives you ample space for pots, pans, plates, things like that. And then lastly, moving forward into the bedroom. So as I mentioned, this is a Murphy bed. The big advantage of a Murphy bed, of course, is the fact that you get a sofa in a smaller floor plan. So this gives you another spot to sit rather than just in the dinette. Obviously, if you want to drop this down into a bed, I'll kind of show you how that works. So this is a jackknife sofa, essentially. The big thing about a jackknife, the reason that, uh, the big advantage of it, the reason people like a jackknife is because of all the storage there underneath. So just because you're going to a Murphy bed doesn't mean you're losing storage. Then what you want to do is undo the locks here. I undid this one already. Undo this one right over here, just like so. And then this part will drop right down. Then you'll see you have the mattress. This is a tri-fold mattress. Currently it's in the bag, so it doesn't unfold very well. But I'll kind of show you anyway. Normally it just kind of unfolds like so. And then again, make the bed, you're good to go. As I said, it's a little tough to unfold in the bag here just because the air gets trapped. Uh, but this way, you know, you get the extra sofa and it kind of gives you some versatility in the floor plan. On both sides of the bed, you have nightstands that are electrical outlets there too. So if you need to plug in and charge cell phones or if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you can uh, be accommodated there. LED light up top, shelf up here as well. And then on both sides, you have mirrored wardrobe space with a hanging rod. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Bullet Crossfire 2070 BH. Right here, you have two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. Behind that, you have rails here for your battery. And on the far side there, you can see this one also has solar prep. So if you want solar, just buy the portable panels, plug it in, and it'll trickle charge your battery. Coming up the front right here is diamond etch plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You'll also see this one has a three year structural warranty on it, which is currently the best in the industry. Coming around to the side, we'll open up the pass through. You have a covered hinge on here, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It's also magnetic, so you can put it up just like that. The kids aren't gonna break any plastic tabs or anything. And if you look inside, you'll see that it is pretty decent storage. You have the same size door on the other side. So any items you put in here, you can access from the other side as well. Taking a step back, you'll see this one does have a power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. There's also an LED light strip on there, so you have light at night. The two outside speakers here we talked about while we were inside. I showed you how to flip the little switch there to the outside speakers. That multimedia center in there obviously controls it. However, as I mentioned, it's Bluetooth capable, so that way you can sit out here and have some control out here as well. Two foldable steps to get into the RV, as well as the grab handle right here. And if you take a couple steps back, you will see the electrical outlet right there. If you need a place to plug some stuff in while you're out here, that will be the place to do it. Circling around to the back, you'll see right over here, we have our spare tire. Now, because this one doesn't have the bumper, it is mounted to the unit itself right here. There's a little carrier, but the great thing about having it mounted back here is it's super easy to get at. You don't have to crawl underneath your trailer to access your spare tire. And also because we don't have a bumper, they give you this right here, which is a spot to store your sewer hose. That way you don't have to store it up front, having it roll around with everything in the pass-through. Cable inlet will be located right here. And then coming around the corner, not only did we have the pass-through up front, but we also have this extra storage area right back here beneath that rear bunk. Right down below is the termination. You can see both your black and gray tank valves there. The handles are labeled accordingly. 30 amp detachable power cord will plug in right here. This unit does have the outside shower with both hot and cold water access and a hand wand. And lastly, your water connections are right up front. The front one be here being to fill your fresh water tank. In the back one is your city water inlet. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2019 Keystone Bullet Crossfire 2070BH. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping. Thank you.